Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Greater Roadrunners diet and desert adaptations. The Greater Roadrunner is in the Cuckoo family. When most people think of Roadrunner, they think of the Warner Brothers cartoon. Although, there is a couple of inaccuracies in that show. For example, despite the main character's victories over the coyote, Willie E. Coyote, Actual roadrunners can only run 20 miles per hour, while coyotes can run up to 43 miles per hour, roughly twice as fast. Although most birds do not like to live in the desert because of its dry habitat, the greater roadrunner does. You can find it living in California, Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, and Louisiana, but you can primarily find them in New Mexico where they are the state bird. You can learn more about New Mexican birds at nmbirds.org. Greater roadrunners can be found at sea level or up to 10,000 feet above sea level. They prefer scrubby deserts and try to avoid forests, although the greater roadrunner can tolerate farmland. But the question still remains, why do greater roadrunners like the desert? This is because of the food. The desert provides rattlesnakes and venomous lizards and scorpions. The greater roadrunner can successfully eat its prey without get getting itself killed. How? Well, when the greater roadrunner wants to eat a rattlesnake, it pecks at it a couple of times to get its attention. When the snake attempts to bite the roadrunner, it jumps away, letting the snake just barely brush its chest feathers. The greater roadrunner continues this routine until the snake gets tired. When the snake is tired, the greater roadrunner picks up the snake and slams it against a rock or the ground. It does the same with the rest of its prey. Greater roadrunners have to be careful when eating horned lizards to make sure to avoid the venomous horns. It will eat fruits and seeds, although plant matter only makes up 10% of the greater roadrunner's diet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.